we're going back to one of my favorite breweries. This is Arbor Ales, and it is a Texas Sunday morning IPA. But what's it gonna be like? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today, we're going back to Bristol and Arbor Ales and their massive pint can, 568 mils of hazy India Pale Ale. This is called a Texas Sunday Morning. So this is a pretty much a brand new beer from Arbor. Um, and it is a, as I said, hazy IPA brewed with plenty of Amarillo accompanied by Citra and Idaho 7. So, Let's crack this open, get it in the glass, see what it's all about. Love Arbor Ales. I mean, obviously, you, you see, it's, you can get easily swayed by loving them because they serve their beer in massive pint cans. Um, that's always a good thing. But I think consistently their beers have been pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't go out of the way and say it's the best beer I've ever tasted, you know. But, but I think in terms of the consistency level, it's pretty good. This one, I mean, this looks great. Lovely and yellow, really thick and hazy, that is. Yeah, that looks pretty cracking. We've got about two or three fingers of head there. Just, it's a sort of off-white, it's got a slight yellow tinge to it, but that looks pretty damn good, doesn't it? Um, I mean, Amarillo hop is a bit of a funny one. It's not, I don't think I have many beers with Amarillo in it, but, I, but I've certainly had beers with Amarillo in it, so I'm not quite sure what this is going to bring. Obviously, that's, obviously, by the sounds of it, it's the main hop here. Citra and Idaho 7, though, you know, they're great. You know, they're going to bring the citrus and the tropical sort of notes. So let's see what this, this beer, what the aroma's like. Yeah, I mean, there's a... Yeah, you, you're, getting a, you're getting a big hit, so your mango. Um, mango, sort of sweet nectarine in there, you know, sort of um, nectarine peaches tangerine as well the sort of oranges yeah smells pretty good bit of pineapple maybe in there as well smells really sort of tropical you know in terms of it's big the mango is the big hitter here but there's lots of tropical sort of aromas in there but let's see what the taste is like cheers everyone oh that's nice it's really really creamy it tastes really, really thick, you know, in terms of a beer. I mean, you look at it and you think, yeah, that looks like a real sort of chewy sort of beer. And it is. I mean, I'm, it's almost got the sort of mouthfeel of a double IPA. Really, mm, it's the star of the show. It's got a real thick, creamy, almost a heavy sort of mouthfeel, which is great. And then in terms of the flavours, yes, there's a there's a lot of mango in there. There's lots of tropical sort of flavours, you know, with a bit of, I can reel them off, you know, the papayas, your, maybe less, not in much, your passion fruit. I mean, the more I taste it, I'm thinking, there's a lot of mango. There's a little bit of peach and oranges as well in there. Not really much any other citrus. There's a little bit of pineiness coming in. A little bit of grapefruit in there as well. It's just one of those sort of hazy IPAs that you think, yep, I could just sit back and enjoy this. And I'm going to probably do that with this because it's a massive pint can, so it lasts longer. But the star of it is the whole mouthfeel of it. It's so creamy. It, 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 to be honest, it's... Uh, it reminds me a lot of the Daya sort of beers in terms of that mouthfeel. It's incredible. It's an incredible beer. I mean, this beer cost me, I mean, it's a pint can. It cost me under a fiver, which is a great for a, this is a six point, I think, yeah, 6.5% IPA. Under a fiver in a pint can. I mean, that's brilliant value for money. The star is definitely the mouthfeel. It is soft. It's creamy. It's almost got a gloopiness, as I say. It's very sort of reminiscent of double IPAs in terms of that mouthfeel. But the flavours are in there are quite light. Mango being the big flavour. There's a little bit of papaya in there. There's a little bit of 
peach and apricot and you know, some stone, you know, stone fruit flavours in there. But they're just, they're quite subtle in terms of the flavour. There's nothing that's too massively, it's not overly punchy. I think because I'm expecting a lot more in terms of the flavour because the mouthfeel feels like I'm drinking a double IPA. But it is not a double IPA. And, and so the flavours are quite light. Yes, they're juicy and fruity, but they don't get to that dank level. They don't get to that sort of really overly strong like two strong flavors just well well balanced if, 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 if anything that's the best way to describe it well balanced but this is a definitely this is a good good beer i'd almost go to say this is the best arbor beer i've had i mean I, the galazaka which i do really like and i'm which is a parallel i had that before christmas again you know obviously i didn't review it again but i had it before christmas i thought yeah this is a good beer but this one, the star is the fact that the mouthfeel. I mean, I'm putting just sit just the way it sits in the glass. Look at it. It's the head is retained an incredible amount. I mean, it's it's just thick and gloopy. It's 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 got those sort of you know sort of top polys and daya. They they're very much in terms of their their mouthfeel, the sort of way that they sit in the glass, the color of them. This one is probably up there with those. I think it's brilliant. And I'm looking forward because I'm uh, I'm just about I'm going to go to Bristol in June for the Bristol Beer Festival, and obviously I expect Arbor to be there because you know because they're a Bristol brewery, and I look forward to drinking this beer there. Hopefully I'll have this one. I mean, they make great beers. They do make great beers, um, and they are they're they're definitely up there with some of the top top beers, and they're just they're just consistently good and. Yeah, I mean, I've got, I've got a funny relationship with them, I think, because I, I, I want to say that they're, when I think of them against Verdants and Dayas and Polly's, yeah, they're not as creative, I don't think. But when they do, with the beers they do make and you drink them and you think, that's a solid, solid beer. It's the sort of beer that, you know, if, if that you can drink more and more. You know, we look at Polly's, you know, and Daya and, and Verdant, because they make so many different beers with different types of hops and all that. I mean, so do Arbor, but... I think the thing is with those is that they're, they're great one-off beers where you drink Arbor and you think it's like a safe pair of, you know, it's like a comfy pair of slippers. You know, that's what, it, that's what Arbor's like to me. It's, it's just very, very consistent, you know, and it's it's a consistent level that's good opposed to very good, great, whatever, fantastic, the best beer you're ever going to taste. And obviously pint cans are a good thing because, you know, when you're sitting bit drinking beer at home, there's nothing worse than you pour your beer out you have a couple of sips of it you think oh i've got to get up again and have a can out because you know because you drink it through but this one it's incredible i think it's great this is a good beer and as i say i would go as far to say this is the best arbor beer i've had so hazy in the Palau, texas sunday morning i don't know what a texas sunday morning is all about but amarillo idaho seven and citrus a good combination and again this the star of this beer is the is the is the texture and the feel of it in the mouth it's creamy it's thick it's great i mean look at it look at that beer incredible i'm gonna have to put that in the thumbnail so let's get some scores okay the scores are in four let me get the can straight arbor ales texas sunday morning it's a hazy india pile out india pile out it is a good beer, 6.5%. It's even a great beer, actually. We'll start off with the aroma. So the aroma of this beer, yeah, I mean, when I pop it open, it just reminds me of some of those sort of great aromas you get from Polly's beer. It's just a real sort of tropical fruit bowl of mango and papaya and a bit of passion fruit in there and... And all that, and then there's a bit of nectarines and peaches and apricots and a little bit of orange and, and satsuma, those sort of sweet oranges. It smells pretty damn good. I'm giving it 13 for aroma. Appearance. Well, this is the star of the show. Look at it. It's thick custard juice. The head is retained really, really well with this beer. It, it, it's, it is exactly what I want in a beer. So I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Top score. A rockers beer review for appearance 10 out of 10 flavor wise well you know when you smell it and you look at it and you think oh can i be would i be disappointed with a flavor 
lots of mango, tropical flavors that all sort of come in waves. There's a little bit of citrus on the back end, a bit of grapefruit in there. It just, just well balanced. It's just, it just sits really nicely. It doesn't do anything too, too much with the flavor. It's just a real juicy tropical flavor. But the real star of it is the fact that it's got this creamy sort of flavor to it. It's got this cr creamy mouthfeel, really soft. It, it is quite thick in terms of um, the mouthfeel as well. It, it, it reminds me of a double IPAs, you know, some some of the great double IPAs that I've had. It's got that sort of mouthfeel, but this is only a six and a half percent single IPA. So I think that's going to be commended. I, I don't know whether it's got extra oats or what, what it's got in it to make, to make the mouthfeel so, so good. So I'm giving it 35 for flavour. It's a really good beer. Value for money. Well, Arbor always do well for value for money because their beers are reasonably priced. This was £4, I think £4.65 from my local bottle shop. But it's a, a pint can, 568 mils. More breweries should be making pint cans. They will get, they'll get more sales. They will, you know. I mean, I don't think it costs that much more for the amount that they can charge a little bit more. And the fact is that people go, wow, that's a big can of beer. That's great. Arbor, the, the, the masters of pint cans, 568 mil for under a fiver. It's going to be a 10 out of 10 for value. Um, and then uh, oh, my overall experience. Well, this is a real, this is, I mean, I do like Arbor. I've, you know, I've talked about it. I love Arbor Ales. I think they're great. I like the fact they serve it in pint cans. But this is a beautifully balanced beer with lots of sweet tropical flavours. No bit. There's no, I haven't even talked about that bit. There's no bitterness. There's a little bit of hints of grapefruit, but not much. And hints of citrus. But it just is of smooth tropical juice. That's what it's all about. And the mouthfeel is the star of it. You know, it's, it's, it's a cracking beer. I'm going to get 15 for overall experience. So we top those scores up. And I'm, you know, I think it's probably the, I think it's the highest rate are, but I'm, I could be wrong. But I'm giving it an 83 as a total score. This is probably the best Arbor Ales beer that I've had. And I do like Arbor Ales. I think the Galazaka was good. I think the Massive Azaka was good. The Zero Zero Session IPA was good. Um, what else have I had by them? Space Hardware IPA, that was okay. Oh, the Flaked Alaska, that was a really good beer as well. But I think this is probably the best of them. A really, really good beer. So check this. If you see this one, it's brand new. Uh, check it out. It is definitely worth your time. Great beer, fantastic mouthfeel. That's the star of it. And I'm giving it 83. It's a cracking score. So hope you've enjoyed that video. I hope that, you know, you may join me in Bristol. That you might, we, maybe you'll see, so see us in June. See, see me in June. You know, if you're in the, if you're at the, um, the Bristol Beer Festival in June, then, then look out for me. And if you do see me, come and say hello. And, you know, we can talk about our best New England IPAs that we love, you know, and, and what's the best Bristol brewery spoiler it's arbor i think i mean there's lots of great bristol breweries uh, but arbor up there for me they're one of the best that's enough for today hope you've enjoyed the video and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a subscriber it really helps the channel out and until the next one you know what you're gonna do keep on rocking